this is Greg Tech Gear Junkie. I'm uh, inside today. We have a pretty nasty winter storm rolling through the state and I just don't feel like getting out on the wind and the snow and the cold and I'm trying to do a QRP session today. So I figured I'd do something a little different. I'm going to play around with the my SDR software design defined receiver. I'll put a uh, picture of it up here in the video, but it's one of the uh, RTL SDR dongles that you can get from amazon.com for like $25. I got that. And let's see, what else do I got on it? A The AM broadcast uh, reject filter. I put that on there too. I find that uh, that helps eliminate a lot of the harmonics from the from the, the low down AM broadcast stations. If I don't have that on there, I got these harmonics across the band and it's, it's really distracting. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna start got two different pieces of software so the first one I'm going to start off with is this one SDR sharp get a, the stream going here uh, so the dongle is connected to uh, end fed wire outside the house it's about a hundred feet long and it goes up about 30 feet I got a video of that one of my earlier videos I showed how I set that up the dongle itself came with like some rabbit ears, but there's no way those are going to work for HF. So if you do get the kit, just keep in mind, you're going to want to hook it up to a better antenna than, than that if you want to monitor the HF channels. It'll do just fine for VHF, but for HF, it's not quite adequate. So anyway, this is SDR Sharp, um, listening to 20 meters at the moment. This software is all free. You can find it online. I'll put some links to to it in the video here when I get to it. Uh, some of the basics here. I'm just going to zoom in. Getting pretty good, pretty clear signals in today. This one's really handy because you can, once you get it configured, you can just drag and drop and scroll around. There's all the FT8 stuff right here. Scroll down a little further, we can see if we can find some CW stations. It's just simple, we just click CW here to change the filter. We can zoom in, we can find somebody. This one looks like one right here. And as good as this one is, uh, I like the, the, the way that you can just drag and drop and tweak it. But I actually prefer another piece of software, and I'm going to launch that here. Let's go here. So I've got HD SDR up and running. I uh, finally figured out where the volume was. Right here, so we can tweak it a little bit. It looks like maybe 20 meters is starting to fade on us. It's getting kind of late in the day, so it's not surprising. Uh, I do appreciate the uh, comeback, Justin, and... Uh but what I wanted to do today is, is I've always had a fascination with this, and I, I kind of wonder, it's like almost like a myth or an urban legend, and it's number stations. I've always been fascinated by number stations, you know, they have that kind of crappy movie with John Cusack and the spies go and, and send messages out. I wonder if they're real. So ever since I've gotten into ham radio, I've had this, this urge to, to try to find one and, and listen to it, and it turns out it's a little easier said than done. So I figured I'd try it tonight. I probably wouldn't hear anything, but uh, that's what I want to try and do. Let me see if we can find ourselves a number station. We can hear some spies, so uh, you have to pardon me. I'm going to refer to my notes here and can do a little bit of a, of a lesson of what I'm talking about. Uh, number stations. Uh, Wikipedia says a number station is a shortwave radio station characterized by broadcasts of formatted numbers which are believed to be addressed to intelligence offers oper officers operating in foreign countries. Which is kind of funny if you think about it, you know, why would they even be doing that these days when you could just send like an encrypted email or something. But I, I like to I want to believe, as Mulder would say, so maybe we can maybe we can find something. It says here further that they often transmit strings of numbers intoned by a computerized sounding voice. Others send broadcasts via Morse code or they just emit various types of noise. Now, the first use of number stations started during World War One. Uh, so anyway, I'm not gonna 
get too much into a history lesson. I've got some recorded samples of a couple here. I'm going to play them. So I'm just going to turn the volume down on this one. I got these off of Wikipedia too. So the this is one that they had on their site of an intercepted broadcast. Let's see if we can get it. This is the Lincolnshire Poacher the famous number station and is believed to be by British intelligence. Started off with this little children's tune and then these secret messages came across. Evidently that one ran for years and years and then went off the air a couple just a couple of years ago. Okay. Now this one here is the a Russian one. I remember the details on it, but it's uh, supposedly a Russian number station, and it's pretty obvious when you listen to it. I suppose if you had your little orphan Annie, a Russian decoder pen, you can find out what this guy was saying. I almost wonder sometimes if this is just people with radios pulling a gag or something. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyway, kind of creepy. That's what I want to see if I can find. Uh, see if I can find that. Basically, because the RTLSDR is kind of a general cover receive, it can cover all kinds of stuff, all the different bands. Uh, and none of these number stations, not all of them. Some of them are probably not going to be like in the ham bands uh, if they're out there. So anyway, there's a site. Let me pull up my notes again. Sorry about this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's www.spynumbers.com. I'll put a link in the video description here. It says an old site, and it, it's got a database on here. Let me scooch it over here. Supposedly, when people would, would hear number station, they'd type them into this database, but that's it, kind of gone unused. I suppose when it was pretty active, it would have been a lot more helpful. So if you click on like the link that says see what stations may be on the air now, it's going to look at this database and based on the current time between 00 and 059 UTC on Mondays. I don't know why it thinks it's Monday. But I guess it, yeah, UTC, duh. Historically, these stations would have been ones that were on. But, you know, some of this data was... <laughs> You know, 1977, maybe thinks that's probably a little bit out of date. It is, let's see, view logging of recent spy transmissions on the HF Underground Spy Numbers message board. This is actually, has got modern data on it, right? So, this guy says, HM1, let's click this link and see what he says. Let's see, 2059 on 2nd of December, that's today. She talks faster than I can write. So let's, okay, so let's try this one. Uh, so, 11635. So, over here, we can change the band to be over here at 11 megahertz. Turn the volume up a little bit. The back. 11.635. So. So this is what's... When you, when you select this option, this is like the center of the, the waterfall, and the actual tune is going to be down here. Okay, now the description. This was AM. So, back here, we're going to change from USB to AM. And I don't see anything uh, super exciting happening here. I can zoom out just a hair so we can see more of the band. 
There's something over here. Let's see what this is. Some kind of Spanish speaking broadcast station. It doesn't sound like a spy, though, so I don't think that's our guy. Let's check the site again. Maybe there's something else here. I'm going to go back. Turn this down so we don't have to listen to that guy. <sighs> Here's one. Let's see what this is. 91.55 a.m. <clears throat> YL Spanish with usual cadence and a series of numbers. So let's try that. 91.55. You're a carrier. You probably can't just tune around and hope one of the things will pop up. You have to be diligent, probably, and listen for a long time. But uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. What the heck? Let's see what they say here. So it came on at 10.40 UTC, and I'm terrible at translating UTC to, to my time, so it was probably this morning sometime. Broadcast for about nine minutes, looks like, and then turned off. So if you guys post in the comments, I'm curious if anybody out there has, has tried this and actually listened to it, because I'd really like to hear one. I really would. It's kind of like a looking for UFOs or looking for, for a Sasquatch or something. So I guess you just have to be patient. It's probably not something you can just, like I say, just jumps up on it. But this, this software really lends itself to it, because uh, it's just easy to pan around and change bands. And especially with an NFED antenna, you know, it's got a 9 to 1 transformer at the bottom so it's got pretty good uh, SDR across all the bands for the most part mostly for ham bands but uh, as you know as your SDR uh, SWR duh, <laughs> comes down and the, uh, the, re the efficiency of the receive goes up so it's a pretty good antenna for this versus like a 20 meter dipole or something because I can tune around and go to these oddball frequencies um, you can get one of those discone or di I don't know how you pronounce it, dicone antennas. And supposedly those are really good for, for SDR applications too. But anyway, I'm just screwing around, so let's see. All right, let's make one more stab at it and see if there's anything out there. Uh, I'm looking at these entries from today. All right, so we got three entries here. this is from August well what the heck we'll try it anyway 13563 <coughs> excuse me I'm not seeing anything there but I do see an AM station here let's try it and see what comes up Sounds like an Asian station. Doesn't sound like a spy, though. So if they're not speaking in English, I wouldn't know a spy station from a talk show or a sports talk show. You know, so. <laughs> anyway. Right, what's the other one? One, two, one, six, three. Okay, don't see anything there. It almost looks like there's a 
side bang transmission up here. Alright. One last try. One zero two six three. Let's try that one. And a thirty meter bang. The upper side band, he said, so... There's definitely a carrier there. But... Anyhow, it doesn't look like we're going to have any luck today. Let me turn this down. So, like I say, yeah, <clears throat> I'm just curious if anybody out there watching, if you've ever had any, any luck uh, and you have picked up on a number station, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'm just super curious about it. And if you, if you can tell me what uh, time and frequency it's on, if it's anything regular, I'd like to, I'd sure like to check it out. Maybe some of the other folks watching this video would like to do it too. Anyhow, i just been goofing around today, guys. I appreciate you sticking with me this long. Uh, not a usual QRP kind of thing, but... This is just another one of the fun things a radio you can do. And really for, you know, for 30 bucks spent on Amazon and some free software and some patience, you can really have some fun with the SDR stuff and the SDR uh, receive software. So anyhow, this is Greg, Tech Gear Junkie. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back out in the field again soon. So many things. Five, eight.